Hello there YouTubers, welcome back to my channel, Workshop Fun. I'd just like to post an update finally about my descender. I've been working on it over the past month, on and off. It's been quite a project. What I've been doing is I have turned around and put a steel bench on top and I've squared it. I also have turned around and made a slide rail for the steel bench and I've started the varnishing process and also turned around and made a light stand for a magnetic light that I got coming you can see it just there now I'll start off with um, the steel uh, steel bench that is glued and screwed onto the wooden top what I did is I bought a bit of 3mm plate from my friendly engineer. I'll just take you off the tripod for a moment. And I turn around and milled the screw in it here for the disc sander. And then I turned around and fixed it to the wooden top that is underneath here. And what I used to fix it was some screws but I also used a whole lot of no more nails between the two, between the wooden top and the steel plate and I decided to make this a fixed bench so it's fixed at 90 degrees and I squared it to the disc using wooden shims underneath, in between the um, steel plate and the wooden top and I mushed that between the no more nails and screwed it down and secured it nice and tight so that will never move now and now that the no more nails is set um, you'll find that there won't be any movement at all like it should never come off you'd have a huge time trying to cut that off or anything so that's all secured uh, then I wasn't quite satisfied with just a steel bench I turn around and also made this slide rail. This is all made out of alloy and just a wooden veneer on the front. Um, the slide bar is made out of stainless and then I milled these alloy blocks to hold the bar and I squared the bar off to the plate as, as best I could. I think I got it within 0.2 of a millimetre. So from there to there, this gap only changes, yeah, about 0.2 millimetre. So very good. Uh, that was quite a hard build. Also, I used my lathe and built this locking system. So you can adjust it to wherever you want and slide it to wherever you want you lock that little brass thumb screw lock that bit hard one handed but then yeah, you lock that and then you got it set to whatever angle and preferably you have it at this half of the wheel because that's the half of the wheel that's going down and pushing down so I did all that um, this all took a number of days you know, doing machining work and, you know, doing it amongst my job. So I did that and I turned around and made this basically out of just some scrap alloy I had lying around. So I didn't have to go and buy any new alloy, which was nice. One thing I did buy was some solid stainless steel bar and this here is going to be the magnetic lamp stand and I turned this diameter up to here down a little bit smaller than than this bit and then I tapered this bit on a gentle slope and then I made this metal insert using a, a 8mm thread so that just screws in and I just super glued it in as well so it won't come off. And I turned around and did that and it's come out quite good. 
Then I made this wooden little contraption here that steadies it. I made that in my lathe and I bored it out to a snug fit with this bar and then in the mill I made this little recess here so it turns around and just lowers down and goes forward into the um, steel bench a little bit and then I drilled some holes in the steel bench for these wood screws to go through into the wooden base underneath and of course I know more nails are done too so that's good then on the bottom here I also made a um, 10 mil thread and I found this little bit of scrap alloy I had lying around and made it into this bracket and drilled a hole through it and bolted it up tight to this so that's how it's held just basically through doing that um, last time I don't know if it was in place but I made this wooden rail back here with the screw in it and that holds the screen in place it's a just a ply screen that I'm painted flat black and it just simply goes over the top here and it just simply slides down clicks in place and there you go that just screens the motor I'll bring it back to the tripod and there you go that's basically what it looks like currently so right now I'm still in the process of um, building up the coats of varnish I think I'm on to my third coat I just keep sanding it back all the little bits of wood and applying another coat and I'll keep doing that until I'm happy that it looks good enough and then I'll leave it so it's nearly at an end now basically the motor's working good uh, it just chews through timber and it certainly doesn't make it's light work doing even metal work on it too because I have built this thing to do metal work that's why the metal bench is on top and as you can see I have a water bucket next to it so I can just cool the bits of metal as I go that way I won't burn my hands or wear out the sandpaper too quick I may one day even set up a little water drip feed device up the top that just drips water down into the sanding wheel and allows it to be water cooled that way and semi lubricated um, but we'll see so yeah basically everything's going really good I can't test it right now in front of you because the varnish is still going off but I'll make another video with me trying it out when I have the lamp I'm just waiting for that to come from overseas um, once I have the lamp all sorted I'll post another video on it'll be the final update if anybody has any questions though on how I did this and wants any advice or wants to give me some advice feel free to leave a comment or ask a question and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe or hit the like thank you very much bye